That's too crazy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, I get wrecked. What the heck? Let's go! I completed the box. Yep. Hello everyone, it's Stooms. Welcome to my no ultimate origins easter egg strategy. And this strategy involves five phases. So right now we are in phase one, which is survive in the spawn room. This involves staying in this area without opening any doors through at least part of round six. Oof, I did not get very many coins there. That's okay. We'll be fine. Um, and how we're going to do this is we're going to buy the wall gun where you typically spawn. We're going to do that after round one. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to get that wall gun as well as buy round five, probably buy ammo again for that wall gun. And this is the best way to ensure that you get 13,000 to five to 15,000 coins. And the reason why you need that much coins is to unlock the entirety of the map as well as get some of the perks that you'll need. Because um, this is a Mega Gobblegums free playthrough. So we're not going to use any of that perhaps to help you cheese the game. Um, we're just going to play this fair and square. Because yeah, I don't really like using Gobblegums myself. I thought maybe I would use some Megas to help make this playthrough. Ooh, nice. Uh, to make help make this playthrough faster, but then I decided I, that's kind of ruins the fun of it, you know. Part of the fun of this match is the challenge that comes without using goblins, and it's Uncovered completely doable to do the Easter egg without goblins. It just makes it a little bit more long, more long of a playthrough, and a little bit more difficult, and that's okay. We enjoy challenges here, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue to survive here. Uh, you'll notice that you receive a double points long. out of that chest over there once you um, unlock the first generator. Um, don't get that double points until round four, because that's when you're going to get the most points from zombies. But yeah, as far as how much you should shoot, shoot zombies, with the first round, I usually shoot the torso of the zombie four times with the spawn gun and then knife because i found that i've never really taken out a zombie um mm, i don't want that uh never really taken out a zombie just by shooting them four times in the torso it never happens so basically i don't know why you wouldn't um and then by round three it takes one shot with this to the torso and then a knife and that works for round four as well um and sometimes you'll miss and only hit their hand. If you do that, it's going to take more knives to finish them off. But for the most part, if you get them right in the torso, it's one shot and then a knife. For round three and four. And then round five and six, you're just kind of focusing on surviving. Because that's when it gets really hard. Alright, so I'm going to finish boarding up this to help me survive. And then I'm going to go get double points. Because it's time for round four, baby. Doing good. Seconds. Also, uh... The 13,000 to 15,000 coins that you'll get in the beginning accounts for if you make a mistake and you down yourself. So, like, if you down yourself right now and need to get quick about again, no worries. Still have plenty of coins to get through pretty much all the map. Ooh, I'll take that. Just not yet. Dang it. I'll take it now, actually. Makes it easier, you know? I would say the only um, perk you should avoid is um, obviously the explode explode perk thing spawn, because that'll just take out all your zombies and all your pull of cash to only give you 400 coins, which is muy bad. Alright, so we're on to round 5. This is when it starts getting a little dicey, and you'll probably have to buy ammo this for, for this gun during this round. Alright, we've reached 9,000 points. Could be doing better, but still not bad. Um, I'm gonna get another little buff here. Nothing major, like I said. Just... Ooh! Okay, this really helps. I allow using... Because it just helps. Oh, 
I don't even need that. But okay. You behind all these magic potions too, German? Okay, now I can use this to get some more points, which is great. There we go. Well, I'm missing. I'm missing. <laughs> Getting too close there, buddy. So yeah, by rounds five and six, I don't really care how you get your points. Just make sure you kill all the zombies because uh, at this point, you're still going to have quite a bit of money left over to do whatever this else you need for long. the Easter egg. And if you get something like Gobblegum just like play like I have here, that's okay. I It's not a mega. It's just a small little buff that helps you for about two rounds. And like in the beginning phases here, I think it's totally reasonable to use it. Ooh, I do not want that. I do not want that at all. They're still spawning. See, round six is pretty difficult, I will say. But if you get a good Almost buff, if you get... Easy. Okay. I'm going to start running out now. There we go. And you should leave um, just two zombies. If you leave three zombies at the end of round Plus six, it's just a little bit too dicey to me. Like... If you get into a tight spot accidentally and they overrun you, we'll this payment for services rendered. But see, look, we have 15,000 now, and now we can move on to phase two, which is literally just unlock the entire map. Because now that you have 15, you can get Jug and still have plenty of money to unlock literally the entire map. Um, must have done assuming something. you don't down uh, after getting Jug while you're trying to unlock everything. So that does happen. Oh my gosh. What? Okay, don't know what happened there, but we're okay. Let's get this part, why don't we? Let's go! So yeah, as you're going around, getting everything you need around the map, focus on getting those robots. Uh, you have the spawn robot, the middle robot, and the church robot. If you haven't shot their foot and gone inside one of those, make that a priority. Because the sooner you do that, the sooner you get the wind staff. And that is part of phase three, is getting the wind staff upgraded. Right, we'll get another hole. I've been uh, playing this game a heck ton over the past couple of months. Um, and this is just something I kind of developed on my own. You know, it's a very difficult challenge. And I feel like as somebody who doesn't use gobble gums as much, this strategy has worked for me really well and getting pretty far. And uh, yeah. So I just wanted to show this to you guys. Show you how I've been improving on this match. I think this will come in handy. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get Jug. I keep lollygagging. Lala Gagan. Oh, also another tidbit. After um, after the first generator, I recommend not trying to kill these zombies to get the extra points. Um, because I just feel like whenever I focus on trying to shoot them, I don't do as well dodging them. Um, and then I just like down myself accidentally because I'm trying to like slow down and shoot them while I'm running away from them. And then they gang up on me and I'm just like, and I screw myself over. So if you are still kind of clumsy at this game like I am, <laughs> uh, I recommend just leaving them alone. Don't worry about those extra points. You don't need them. And also I would say as soon as possible, once you exit the spawn room, I would say your first goal should be to get jug. Because once you get jug, you're swimming in safety for like a good amount of time. Okay, I kind of wanted a weapon, but that's okay. Um, let's try another. Oh, uh, not the weapon gun. I want, but I'll take it. It's not even a good weapon. All right, we got to go down here to get the uh, final shield part. So this is another good recommendation. After you get together. Jug, get the shield next. Um, because if you get that done, your hindquarters will be protected, and that is a huge help, um, to helping you survive. Oh, 
Okay. Before I get that shield built, I'm gonna get this this guy. So I haven't gotten the part yet. Which foot is it, buddy? Show me the money. Okay, it's this foot, I believe. Right? Heck yeah, okay. I'm just gonna chill over here, let the fast zombies try to chase me over here. And then, when I'm ready? I don't think, whoa. Okay, time to head over. Heads up, the robot's coming this way. Boom, doing great. Let's go build that shield real quick. Heck yeah! Looks like this is just about done. Sweet. Come on. Good weapon. What? This sucks, dude. Shiva is the one bad weapon out of the bunch. And of course the spawn gun, but. What is this? Oh, I already have a shovel. Yeah. Who is that? Church robot? I might as well go do the church. I'm gonna do that real quick. Yeah, just. Definitely while you're doing all this stuff, prioritize trying to get in the, the not the zombie, the robot feet. Because if you get that done early, that'll be a huge help to you. Ooh, I might not make it. I don't think I will make it, TBH. Careful, the robot's approaching. Got ourselves some transport if we need it. Tank up ahead. Oh, so close. I tried to slide in, but I couldn't. <laughs> that was so close. Hey, hey. All right. Getting ganged up on little trolls. Are we supposed to do that? Yes, you were. All right. This is highly not recommended until you have the shield. Okay, the part is not here. Zombies are a little extra fast. Usually not this fast. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm looking for the Maxis drone part. Because it's either on these paths of mud or in the ice tunnel. And it looks like it's in the ice tunnel. So we're going to go there next. All the disc parts and all the... Oh, I haven't done the fifth generator yet. Gosh dang it. I better take it. Just in case the Germans tell them the truth. Let's go. Fragment of a staff. Got the first fragment. Now we're gonna head back to generator five, get all the generators done. And look, we still have 3,000. We have jug, and pretty much the entire map is already unlocked. That is the goal. If you have less than that after you've unlocked every door, it's okay. Uh, you're good. It's uh, that that extra money is just in case you down by accident and you need a safeguard. And normally, I would generally recommend not getting um, the dig sites, but after playing this a lot, I figure by the time uh, by the time it snows again when you need it, because typically, if you stay in the spawn room for the first six rounds, uh, four and five will be snowing, so you'll miss the snow, and you won't get snow again until around like round eight or nine. So. Basically, I think you're good Rick if you get dick size now, because those will respawn when the snow this seems a little out of place in a war zone. Okay, we got the last Maxis part. Such a troll guy. Too fast. I'm going to go down here immediately so I can get the 100 from Mjolke. And we're just waiting on the church robot to get the final wind staff part. In the meantime, we can get the wind gem. Perfect. All right, I hear the robot. I don't know if it's church or not. I hope it's not because I don't think I have time to to go and get under his foot, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> it is the church robot. Well, that is unfortunate. And it's the wrong foot anyway. Well, thanks, buddy, for avoiding me. He must be upset that I missed his foot the last time. You need to be proactive with your thinking about this Easter egg get as much things as you can get done as early as possible. Okay. Actually, I'll keep you around, buddy. 
We're gonna go out here, and I am going to use the tank. These guys will probably catch up to me on the tank, but that's okay. We can just run around on the tank for a while. I'm through riding around. Now the issue is if two of them and two of them are. Not in the mood for this shit. Actually, that would have been nice. Oh well. Yeah, hit my back, bro. Whoa. -oh. It's chaos around here. I don't even see the zombie I'm spinning around so fast. Okay, ready? Also, another little tidbit. Don't wait in the back of the tank to get this. Go from the front, sprint first, and then jump from the front. Because I've tried the back, and it just, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Okay, the thing is, I want this zombie not to catch up to me on the tank. Let's get this thing moving. Run, 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 run. No! Basically, if I make it past this little hump, the zombie has to jump down, jump up, and he's like too far behind to catch up at that point. That's what I was trying to get him to wait for. This zombie was too relentless, of course. And my zombie shield is about to die, which is bad. Okay, here comes the, our lift. Off. One more circle. Ah! Got it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Hit my hindquarters, buddy, would you? There we go. I'm gonna get a new shield. Pronto. We can almost get the lightning staff before. Huh. Oh yeah, by the way, right now we are in phase three, which is solely focusing on upgrading the wind staff. But hey, if you're like in my situation and you can get another staff first, just the goal is to get one staff fully upgraded. You just need one. If you don't get the one, then it's not gonna be able to help you with all the other staffs. Cause it's great to have one staff upgraded to help you upgrade all the other staffs. Because like you can use that staff to kill all the zombies when you're in the late rounds. So I think it's just majorly beneficial. Ready? Oh, oh I, okay. All right, and we're gonna wait around near the uh, the church so that I can run there if the robot comes up. If it's not him, then we'll go and ride the tank one more time, and then we'll get the lightning staff instead of the wind staff, and I'm chill with that. Solo origins with no gobblegums, I will tell you, it's a very slow process. Just gotta play it safe, that's what it's all about. Learn that the hard way plenty of times. Okay, it's not him, let's head toward the uh, lightning. Get one staff completely upgraded, and once you do that, then you can move on to phase four, which is get all the other staffs. And all the other staffs will happen all at the same time. All right, buddy. I know I could down this guy with a grenade, but last time I did that, uh, they just like passed out and died without me even damaging me them again. So I was just like gaslighted. Okay, I hate you. And I get to run away from this guy the entire tank trip. You ready, buddy? You ready? I'm super excited. I hope you are too. I know he is. Look at how fast he's running. One more turnaround. Oh yeah, yeah. We did it. Through riding around. Yeah, I am too, buddy. All right, well. Staff. Let me guess. Let me guess. That's the church robot. Thanks a lot for nothing, bro. Better late than never, I suppose. Haha, -ha, you suck, zombie. Alright, the last few times, it was his right foot that was glowing. So let's see if it's the right foot again. It is. Perfect. I'll wait in here. The robot's coming this way. He has one more step. That gives time for the zombie to show up. Alright, going in now. Cool. Now we have the lightning and wind staff. That doesn't usually happen. Hit my hindquarters, bro. That's what you get. 
Let's get the gem. This crystal better be worth the effort it took to get it. If you're concerned, don't be. This is the weapon I'm giving up. Let's go! Let, let's go! Right off the horizon. How about this is built? Let's go do the uh, upgrading process. Okay. Okay. Give me the double L, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, boss. Boom! If that ain't a speed run, I don't know what is, bro. Heck yeah, yeah. Not great. You're gonna ruin my mojo, giant robot. This works. Oh, it will. I know it will. Great. What happened? Nothing yet, buddy. Let's go. I never picked up the gramophone. I'm an idiot. I should have picked it up because the next thing we needed to do is go into the lightning staff. So now I have to go all the way back there to pick up the gramophone because I forgot it. And yeah, it's just a good time. We need to get this operational. That's right. Hit my hindquarters again, bro. Oh my gosh. I did not expect him to be that close already. We're not sticking around. We got other things to do, like getting the lightning staff. Up. Lightning! Let's go! Give me the little gem, little gem, little, on, little, little gem. Alright, remember the code, people. Um, one, three, six, two, five, seven. No, three, five, seven. I always mix that up for some reason. I always want to say two, but it's three. Um, and then two, four, six. Yeah. Lightning. Let's see if the lightning staff lives up to its promise. All right, let's do this, mother truckers. Let's do it. All right. Let's see if this works. I what? Badoy. Okay, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I, I I goodness gravy, dude. That actually pisses me off. Well, that's lovely. Okay, are, are you done? Slightly annoyed right now. Dude, the lightning staff is my favorite. It's so good. You don't get to walk away. Oh, hello. Got enemies closing in fast. Alright, well, I can't really get rid of my, uh, lightning weapon. Woo! Looks like we all just got loaded up. Okay, I should only have slowies left, right? Good job, buddies. I'm glad you're slow. I appreciate the slowness. Just don't gang up on me when I'm not expecting. Okay. How do I... Okay, I am very confused. I always forget that it saves. Like, two, four, six.
Yay! Guess what? I already got all of the electrical outlet thingies, or whatever you call them. Ooh. Don't mind if I do 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 do. Yes, sir. Did you like my uh, bullet accuracy there? That was amazing, wasn't it? Okay. Well, that was really weird. Like, ooh, wait, 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 wait. I need to get speed cola. Excuse me, sir. Need to get speed cola, speed cola. Because obviously with all these weapons, ha, I'm going to survive a long time. Don't feel much stronger. Mind you, I can already run 10 miles with a full kit. Dude, Dempsey is the best. I mean, just listen to this, Chad. It's too good. Like, legit, the voice actor is such a cool dude. Gotta say it. Gotta say it, bro! I'll get the uh, fire part later. Later, dude! I got a hot date with a lightning rod. That's right. Excuse me, ladies and gents. I think it's just gents. They're still, like... They still have, uh anti-woman zombies in this game there's no i mean i guess it is world war ii which probably didn't have very many women in the military but like come on where are all the lady zombies at again i keep asking this question and i'm like bruh where the it no world war one I. I am so sorry the great war world war one I. i'm not dumb i swear i just forget that. Let's go! Going through the wind tunnel, baby. I also realized I should have gotten speed cola before I got the running one. I I don't know what anything's called, guys. I just randomly call it like I see it. I found a piece of a staff. Yeah, you did. I'm trying um, to remember. Well, sorry. We made copies! <laughs> you can open the gateway to Agartha! Oh, sorry. She beat me on Sounds that like jinx. I owe her a coke now. Hang in there, little girl. Hang in there, little girl. Yeah, little girl. You best believe Daddy's coming to town to rescue you. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That was close. I almost, like, grabbed it. And started... Sorry, okay. Let's go! Holy. Dude, I'm just gonna knife all these mother frickin' zombies. Do you guys mother frick often? I believe you do. And then we'll pull out the lightning staff, baby. Best one. It's just so epic. Like the way it electrocutes everyone. I just love Holy moly. That zombie almost single handedly got me. Hey, baby! Let's go! Mamma mia! Heck yeah, yeah! Lightning rod, baby! Uh. Oh, good. There's a little opening for me. Alright, hold your horses. Hold your horses. I, uh. That's right. Jam here. You are in a jam, but you know, you just got out of that jam like a pro, so I wouldn't worry. Making my way back around to generator three so I can get speed cola. My question is, where the heck is the Panzer? Like, straight up. I'm genuinely questioning. Like, where are you at, bro? We're supposed to have a party like at two o'clock and you're like an hour late. Like, you're so late, bro. Never warned us they were armor, Richtofen! Can't remember the last time I tasted sugar. My basic That's right. Are barely I told you. If they corner me, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, everyone, make your way over to the magical holy water so that I can knife you to death. Okay? This is our rendezvous point, all right? This is where we were supposed to have the party, but you guys were just sore losers and decided to come heckin' late. I don't appreciate that. I really don't appreciate that. But if you guys want to be dumb, then so be it, okay? I'll show you where it is. Gosh, 
freaking losers. Oh, -di -da -di -da. All right, where's Big Boy at? Oh, there you are. Look at that, two shot wonder. No, I don't want that. Didn't you get the memo? I need to knife people right now, okay? I hear the music. That means it's done. Excuse me. I got a date to catch with some holy water. Excuse me. Oh. And, okay. You see how stupid that was? Oh my gosh. That was so stupid. Ooh. I desperately need that. All I know is that was the stupidest she I've ever seen. Like, it made me shoot the lightning bolt beyond the zombie, and I aimed at the zombie. How does that make sense? I, I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Get away from me. I hate all of you. This is another thing you learn when you've played this so much. How to recover after downing and losing all your perks. It's not that hard to do. Just make sure you kill all the nearby fast zombies around you and sprint to jug first. And sometimes you fail because the... Whatchamacallum zombies come and like ruin the, the generator or whatever. And then you have to get the generator while you don't have jug. And that can be... That can put you down for sure, but like, all I'm saying is, bro, like, it's not that bad. It's not the world over. Like, all right, let's go back to the holy water and finish that off. Because that's what we need to do. So that's what we're going to do. La -de -de -da -da -de -da -da -de -da. See, I'm still singing. I just got down stupidly and I'm still singing. Having a good old time, because this is a game, it's fun, it's a good time. Okay? So you can suck it, pros out there who think I suck. Yeah, you suck it. You go ahead and use all your mega gobble gums all you want. Screw those things. I'm doing this hardcore mode. No such thing as a mega. Alright. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, I'll get another regular free gobble gum. Thank you very much. I just like to emphasize the regular and free part of that deal. Okay, which one are they getting? Five? Okay, we'll get them later. That's it, that's it. Get out my way, bro! Get out my way! I got some business to attend to! Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, where are they headed? If you guys would kindly make your way over to Generator 3, that's exactly where I'm going. Because I need to get speed cola. Heads up! The robot's coming this way! Pick it up! Ugh. Pick it up! Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh. Imagine if his next foot was on me and I'm just dead because I it wouldn't freaking pick it up. That's right, look at that. Lightning staff, bro. Fire thing. Yeah. What the By the way, if you didn't know, we're on phase four. Get all the other staffs i know i'm so disorganized i don't i don't make a script because if i make a script i'm just gonna be stopping this game to like read my script every like i don't know <laughs> I, i'm playing a game that's what this is and this is my strategy um make sure you have one completed staff so that you can use it to help you complete all the other staffs that's part of it but um damn it 
barely move in this mud. But, um, yeah, I just forgot to mention it, and it's okay. I want... Uh, and you know what? We're gonna cheese this part. I will admit, I'm gonna cheese it. Some, uh, gobble gum. Because I can, you know? And it's free gobble gum. And in this only lasts 30 seconds. Or even less than that. 10 seconds. Hardly does anything, bro. There we go. Look at that. And I'm also gonna unlock my, um... My double tap. Oh, it's snowing. Of course it is. Alright, well then. We don't need to progress any more levels. I will, though, because... It's a part of some kind of staff. Dude! That's too crazy! Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, get wrecked, what the heck. Let's go! I completed a box! Wait, it stopped snowing after one round? It just disappeared. Oh, that sucks, dude. <laughs> that, 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 that sucks, dude. I, usually it lasts like, oh shoot, there's a lot of zombies. Um, usually it lasts, um, through two rounds, so I'm genuinely surprised to see that it's didn't, and very sad too at the same time. Oh! Ah! Dang it! I should have ran. Okay, I'm right next to Judge. J judge? I'm right next to Jug. <laughs> and I'm gonna use um. I'm mad. Yeah, I am mad too. Don't ask me how, but it looks like we all just got some fresh ammunition. Oh, sweet. Okay, I thought it was Deadshot Daiquiri and I was, like, bummed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we use all of the, um... That's already two boxes, bro. That was quick. I am so happy about that. Too bad the two remaining boxes are the hardest ones to get because they're right next to where the robots enter. But oh well. The issue is without the ice staff, without the snow, I should say, I can't get the ice staff. And if I can't get the ice staff, then I don't feel the need to finish getting the fire staff because I want to do both of them at the same time. That's another part of my strategy. Fire staff is last, because you have to fill the cauldrons. And the goal was, if I didn't get two um, chests at the same exact time, um, to get wind staff first on its own, and then um, once I get the all the other staffs, use the fire staff to fill the souls of the ice and the lightning staff, and then complete the, complete the fire staff thingy. Yep, I knew it. Okay. <laughs> no! There you have it, folks. Partial guide. I didn't get through any more of the Easter egg. I tried, guys. I swear I tried. Okay, Origins is hard, bros, alright? And I'm not gonna give people the right, or I'm not gonna give myself the right to say get good to people who use gobble gums, because I haven't completed the Easter egg without gobble gums. Um, but maybe I will, since I did fail this without gobble gums, I might do another playthrough with some a few megas, um, just to make the playthrough faster, so I don't have to worry about going to get jug, etc., etc. You know? So we'll see though. We'll see. I might just stick with this. This is the funnest method. Um, so, speaking of which, watch me get three more gobbles. Let's see what we get, folks. I got... I got Perkaholic. Ah! Okay, straight up, that is my first Perkaholic. I have not RNG'd 
um, Perkaholic this entire time I've had this game. I swear. <laughs> Just so that I can show myself completing the Easter egg and to make my recording go a little faster, I might use this collection of Gobblegum. I might. I will say I've only used it once. And uh, I, I found it did make things a lot easier, but like kind of scrapped the enjoyment of the challenge a little bit. But yeah, anyways, that is my ultimate strategy. So the five stages were, or phases were, survive in the spawn room. Second phase is unlock the entire map with the money that you just got from surviving in the spawn room. And then phase three is upgrade your first staff, either lightning or wind. As you saw there, I got both wind and lightning at the same time, pretty much, because that last robot was taking forever to show up and I had plenty of money to ride the tank several times. Phase four is to get the rest of the staffs and that involves obtaining the fire staff and then using the filling of the cauldrons to upgrade the ice and the lightning staff or the remaining staffs in case you didn't get the wind staff yet. Um, there's really no reason not to get the wind staff yet though, because it's just RNG with the robots and you just wait for the right one to come. And if you see one that you haven't gotten yet, I would recommend going to it right away. So if you do that diligently, you probably should have the wind staff already, even if you already have the lightning staff. And then after you have all the staffs upgraded, phase five is just like complete the Easter egg and that doesn't have any strat implications. But I would just say in general, the baseline is to be patient. If you're waiting around for something to randomly show up, like a robot foot to spawn so that you can progress the Easter egg, do it. It's super boring and tedious, but like if you keep progressing rounds, it's just gonna get harder and harder to survive, even with your staffs. But seriously, the main part of the strategy is the beginning. Um, and this is also a no gobble gum strategy. It'll be different if I use the megas because it's just not necessary as much to survive. But doing that beginning thing helps so much. If you're a semi beginner player, I highly recommend just camping and training in the spawn room. And it'll also help you not to waste too much time. If you're gonna try to keep doing the Easter egg, at least if you do bad in the beginning, you can just restart instead of trying to get through like half the Easter egg and then failing, you know? So like if you get through the first six rounds and you're having tons of trouble and you keep downing, you can just restart quickly and you've only wasted like 15 minutes. That's, you know, it's pretty foolproof. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, playthrough, this incomplete playthrough. I am so sorry. I uh, just don't have time to record anymore to, to be fair. Um, to record a whole nother playthrough and this the Easter egg takes a freaking long time uh, Playing solo and without gobble gums. That's at least like three hours right there for the average player I hope you enjoyed have a wonderful beautiful day, and I will see you guys in the next video Bye bye